Morning. It's Sunday morning. It's uh, half past seven. And uh, I'm going to get on the road at eight o'clock and drive to London to see my dad to take him to the football. Um, yeah, not just any old football match. It's the North London derby. My dad's a massive Spurs fan. And they're playing Arsenal. It's also the last time that Spurs... Whoa. <laughs> it's the last time that Spurs will be playing at White Hart Lane. It's their last season. It's the last North London derby at White Hart Lane. So, special day. And uh, me and my brother and my sister got together to uh, treat Dad for his birthday. And, um, yeah... I've got to jump in the car in about 40 minutes and um, head up to London. Should be good. Got to find um, some breakfast first and have a bath. And, um, yeah, I'm running late. What, Pops? Where are we? Victoria. Victoria Station. We're on our way up to Tottenham to see the North London Derby, aren't we? Go on, you lily whites. It's going to be a good day. I'm just getting a bit of a history lesson from someone who grew up around these parts, namely my old man. So this road out here leads up to Lansdowne Road. And tell us about Lansdowne Road. Lansdowne Road was the approach to Tilson Road where my grandparents, my maternal grandparents used to live. So you are a proper Spurs man through and through. Yes, a proper Spurs man because on the 16th of March, 1936, Bill Nicholson joined this club as an apprentice. And of course, Bill Nicholson is really, should be called Sir Bill Nicholson. There you are. Typical Spurs fan. See, I, I'm get, you can see the history lesson I'm getting. We'll just turn around. And uh, back there is the stadium itself. And I think we're in the, uh, in the Cucumber Sandwich Brigade lounge just here waiting for our guests to come and show us in, so yeah. So far so good, yeah? Yep, brilliant. We've not, we've not walked too far, we've got the train, let the no. bus take the strain. This, exactly. And yeah. now we're gonna get, let someone else feed us, and water us, and watch some football. With many thanks from Emma, <laughs> Matt, and Woody for this great opportunity <laughs> to see this, see this game. Penultimate. No, it's not the penultimate match now, because there's West Ham and Man United to come. TV scheduling kind of mucked up the schedule. But today's going to be the best game. We, he's worried because today's like, you know, if we lose, it's a big thing, because it, it's, I say we, I mean we. If we lose, it's, it's like, you know. It's the enemy. It's, it's the enemy. It's the derby. It's, it, we bumped into, we bought a train ticket in Red Hill off a man who told us, well asked us where we're going, we said North London Derby, and he said to us, oh I was at the Devon Derby the other day, and I was like, how uncanny is that? There's a train, guy oh, selling train tickets with a London accent, talking about the Devon Derby, and I've come all the way to Red Hill to talk about that. Unfortunately he was a Plymouth fan, so never mind. <laughs> Pretty decent seat, I'd say. He's busy chatting. He's happy. The game is finished, I'm in a lift, I'm in a lift with a very happy Spurs fan because his team just won 2-0. Two two nil. Nil. <laughs> that was a good game of football that, wasn't it? Fantastic, yeah. <laughs> well, what was, what was 
really dynamic was the supporters. Oh, the, the noise yeah. inside that stadium was fantastic. Yeah. Might have been a few swear words, but otherwise, brilliant. Right, time for another pint, I think. <laughs> this is us leaving the stadium in a rather good mood. 2-0 to the Spurs. Now we've got to do is get home. <laughs> I think it's a bus down to Seven Sisters and then the underground from Seven Sisters to Victoria. Victoria Red Hill. Red Hill home. Oh, that's it. Cup of tea. Cup of tea. Match of the day. <laughs> to watch it all over again. <laughs> Is that okay, Eva? Is that, do you think the wife's going to let you do that, mate? Uh, oh, of course you will. Bless her. <laughs> what a lovely day. What a lovely day. There's loads. I mean, have a look at the police. Going off all the, off duty. They've done now. They've got rid of all the Arsenal fans. They've done their thing. I think it looks like it passed without much bother, doesn't it? Yeah. And we and we've left the Arsenal behind. <laughs> Dad, you can't say that. Look at all the building. Look at all the cranes. The new stadium's going to be magnificent, and we'll have to come back and christen the new stadium as well, pops. Okay. That's a deal, yeah. That's a deal. But let's let's do it sort of. Uh, We'll, we'll split. <laughs> yeah. we'll, go, we'll bring Woody this time as well, shall we? Oh, if only he could.